Welcome to the Thunder and Lightning Show. John the Son of Thunder here with Ryan the Retrograde. And Ryan, this show is about segregation. I've heard it's reared its ugly head yes, in America. It has. So what do you have to tell us about that? Well, let me tell you, John, we bring you this uh, very important news, as you can see we have on our blue check marks. This, ladies and gentlemen, is like the lunch counter. And why am I talking about a lunch counter and segregation? Well, you know, I'm here kind of with a snack. I have my beautiful uh, St. Benedict cookie here, which uh, is a very fantastic and tasty cookie. And I have my cup of coffee. And, um, but see, we have to eat at a separate lunch counter than, than other people because now we have what I have termed uh, Jab Crow segregation. You know, you heard of Jim Crow. Well, now we have Jab Crow. And in the Jab Crow segregation system, you have uh, the jabs and the jab knots. And that's where we are in America. If you don't have your jab and you don't have your special card, you know, your membership card, well, then you're not allowed to uh, go to this movie theater or drink at this water fountain or eat at this lunch counter. And so, you know, we're going to have our own. There'll be the Jab, the Jab movie theater, water fountain, you know, like neighborhood, and then the Jab not neighborhood. And so, and I'm okay with that, you know. Uh, obviously, I would like to have integration here. I would like everybody to be like us and be Jab knots. But the people who are sick in the head, who are pushing the, uh, the Jab uh, narrative and... and, and uh, um, well, I don't want to say any more than that. The people who are pushing the jab, uh, they want to keep us segregated. And okay, that's fine. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have parties in our yards, and we'll be we'll be uh, you know eating dinner and going to mass with no masks and receiving communion on a tongue. And that's fine because if you're one of the jabs, well then you just stay away, and you should be okay because if you've gone the jab. It's your savior. It's a miracle. Isn't science great? The miracle. It's so great that you need, uh, I guess, two jabs doesn't work. And according to the great, <laughs> the great and all-powerful doctor who went to a Jesuit school, whom you all know, but we won't mention his name, <laughs> you may even need a third jab. You know what this is like? It's like, uh, uh, maybe they should have... The jabs gather together every Sunday, okay, and they celebrate um, sort of like a Thanksgiving meal together where they renew um, their jab vows and they get another jab each Sunday. Is part, of, but of course it would have to be socially distanced with you know n number of masks or whatever. Um, but it is, it's become like the jab is a sacrament in the jab church, the church of the virus, and. Uh, Anyway, I just think that this is totally ridiculous. I wanted to draw your attention to it. And I hope, ladies and gentlemen, you are you are one of the jab knots and you understand that this jab crow system is coming coming your way. Well, do you get to reduce the number of jabs if you wear an extra five masks? Oh man! What is, what's the well, this is what's like, the ratio you know, here? You know how the Supreme Court had that like there was like that three fifths compromise. <laughs> to do with slaves or whatever. Well, this is like you know how many how many jab knots how many jab knot uh, citizens equals a jab citizen, and so this is probably what they'll do in D.C. to try to like punish Alabama and Georgia and Texas and Florida for being jab knot states. <laughs> that they'll say like, well, you're voters because they're on jab. They're only worth three fifths of a northern jab voter. Uh, it could it could happen. Yeah. Well, did you know there's a Catholic university that I did not mention in the EVTN segment mm -hmm. and that is in favor of segregation? In fact, they're requiring it. Because of the jab. The, it's Notre Dame University. Mm -hmm. They're requiring students to have the jab come the fall semester. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's not unexpected 
Get Wait, in. Is Notre Dame, did you call them a Catholic university? Well, they call themselves a Catholic <laughs> university. Yeah, speak? <laughs> speak? Is that what I mean? But, but given not... their history... Yeah, you know, yeah that's it, the it's... problem. See, they're not on the list of, like, the Cardinal Newman Society, you know, faithful Catholic colleges or whatever. So, look, if you're not a faithful Catholic college, then why bother? I mean, I guess the name works if you're, like, kind of a Joe Biden-type oh. Catholic or whatever, but... But really, uh, why, if you're really interested in Catholicism, why would you want to go there? I don't know. But people do go there, and they get students to go there because they're Catholic. And they spend so, a ton of money to get, like, a, a lesser degree than you could get at a secular school. Well, and you could just spend that money at a good one, like Franciscan University of Steubenville, or one of the ones with good reputations. Christmen, TAC, Ave Maria, I don't know, there's probably a couple others. Now, here's the question. I don't know enough about this uh, the Notre Dame JAB requirement to see if there's exemptions in there. That's a good point. I know that, for instance, the state of Pennsylvania, we have quite a number of JAB uh, exemptions here in this state. I know that Rutgers has a JAB requirement, too. And so you just have to find out, like, how can I claim exemption from these JAB requirements if you're a student at these universities? Number two question would be, now when you get to Notre Dame, they're, you're probably going to say, like, well, I'm a Catholic, I can't get this jab. And then they're going to say, well, we're Catholics. And then you'll just have to say, uh, that'll be a nice argument. Well, um, I don't think you really are. Uh, and then you get into a discussion. At that point in time, I don't know what you do. Like, claim that you're not. Well, I belong to a different kind of church than you. You belong to the virus church. I belong to an antivirus church or whatever. But, hey, maybe this German schism will spread to America We'll have a completely different set of hierarchies, and then you really will be able to claim, you know, legitimate diversity in, in Catholicism uh, when, you, when you enroll in Notre Dame. Well, here's what we need is one of you, the viewers, to apply as a student for, at Notre Dame University and then file a lawsuit that Let you're us. exempt. It's a religious exemption that you can't have the jab and see what yeah. they do. Uh, see if they make accommodations. Now, it might be a waste of $50 or however much the application fee know, it's is. probably but... a lot more than that nowadays. Well, it might be. I guess I'm showing my age. but <laughs> It's probably double or triple that. I don't know. But some of them actually waive the fee. So if you take a yeah. tour, get a free T-shirt, maybe a meal, and yeah. you know, free application. Um, but anyway, I don't know. It would be an interesting case study. I, I yeah. think they'd probably accommodate those who who do uh, have medical uh, exemption. Uh, I would imagine they're not so virusy, but... I don't know. This is the new... John, as I said, this is like the new religion. The very pious uh, James Martin types, Thomas Reese types. Uh, <laughs> this is their... This is more important than Catholicism to them. So, uh, I don't know. They might be more evangelical and say, Brother, I want to know if you got the jab today. Have you accepted this virus... <laughs> This concoction experimental as your Lord and personal savior. I want to know if you got the jab. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we've got. Thank you so much for watching. We are the laity. And, and we, we will, will not, not be, be silent. silent. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Tasty. Oh, did you grab my water? Mm. Oh well. <laughs>